How's it going everyone, it is Pangino here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to successfully de-bloat Windows 10 to free up some excess storage space, help the PC boot faster and applications load faster and most importantly reduce some of the load on the CPU to reduce your CPU usage. All in turn all of the optimizations shown in this video are going to overall improve the performance of your PC regardless of what tasks you're doing whether it be web browsing, documents, video editing or even gaming, de-bloating Windows 10 is a fantastic way to achieve better performance and get the most out of your PC without having to spend a penny. If you guys do enjoy this video, please do remember to leave a like and a comment to help me out with the YouTube algorithm as it does help out tremendously, with all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the Activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows, and boom, you're now completely completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. Before we start off with any of the optimizations in this video, we're first of all going to be quickly setting up a system restore point. This is a quick and simple way to just make sure that every single optimization we're going to set with inside of this video can be reverted for any reason if you wish to do so, which is great if you just want to try out these optimizations, see how they perform in your PC, and if you're happy with them, fantastic, but if you do wish to revert back, you can do so quickly and easily. Navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on your Windows button, then type in a restore. Select the Create a Restore Point button. Inside of here, navigate down on the left-hand side to your local disk C drive. Select this option, navigate down to Configure. First of all, ensure that System Protection is turned on. Go to the drop-down menu to this slider, set this to about 5%, select Apply, select OK. Then navigate down to Create. I'm just going to be calling this Restore, then select Create. And we can continue on with this video knowing that at any point if we wish to revert anything back, we can do so quickly and easily. Select Close and exit out. Before we jump into the bulk of de-bloating Windows 10, we're first of all going to remove any apps, programs and games in which we no longer use on our system which are simply taking up resources. For this, navigate to the bottom left hand side, type in Add or Remove. Select Add or Remove Programs. Inside of here, this will then bring you up a list of all of the programs installed to your system. What I then recommend you you do is go through the list all the way from the top to the bottom, select the program you want to uninstall, click on it, then select uninstall in the bottom right. You want to do this for every single application, game and game launcher you know you're not going to be using in the future or haven't used for at least six months. Do not uninstall any programs from inside of here that you know you'll need or are important to you. This is just for excess applications and games in which you haven't used in ages. We can then continue to exit out. Moving on from there, we can take ourselves down to our task bar, right click on the task bar, then open up task manager. Inside of task manager, go up to the startup tab found at the top. In here, you're going to see an entire list of programs which are going to automatically boot every single time your system is logged into. Typically, most programs you install will throw themselves automatically at this list, meaning that every time you sign into your PC, these programs open up automatically. Not only will this slow down PC boot times and login times drastically, but this also soaks up resources and puts extra load on the system. Every single program you have running in your system is taking up CPU cycles and potentially even using GPU usage. So what we're going to do is we're going to select every program in here we know we don't want automatically booting on our system and disabling it. This will not remove the program and you'll still have access to open these programs whenever you want, it will just stop them automatically opening every time you log in. Once you have found a program in which you wish to turn off, select the program, go to the bottom right hand side, select disable. You want to then repeat this step for every single program you are confident you don't need. Whilst we're still booted inside of Windows, it's also recommended to do one last quick check by going to your task icon tray in the bottom right hand side, selecting this, and once again closing out of these extra programs you know you don't need whilst you're doing anything else in your PC. Every single one of these that is open is taking up resources even if they are running in the background. With that out of the way, we can then apply some quick system maintenance before we jump into the de-bloating. For this, navigate to the bottom left hand side, type in percent, T-E-M-P, percent, then press enter. You'll be brought into the local temporary files. Inside of here, highlight all the way from the top down to the bottom, right click, select delete. Any pop-ups that come up, select do this for current items, then hit skip. This may happen a few times, just select the option, then select skip. And the only files and folders in which you're remaining with inside of here are the only ones Windows was actually using. Everything else we just deleted was an excess caching file, dump file, just sat on your PC, soaking up resources. For those of you watching this video that would also like to free up some extra storage space on your PC with some additional methods to sorting out your storage, there's going to be a video on screen now which you can find in the card on the top right hand side and also linked in the description down below that you can watch after this video if that interests you. To ensure that we've removed all of those files successfully from our PC in old outdated Windows updates, navigate to the bottom left hand side, type in disk space cleanup. 
Click on the disk cleanup utility, select your C drive with inside of the drop down menu, then select OK. Once you're met with this page, it's recommended to navigate down to cleanup system files in the bottom left hand side, then select this option again. This will then select any of your Windows backup files also if you wish to delete those. Inside of here on the left hand side you'll have options in which you can tick to remove these files from your PC, such as Windows update files, temporary files, DirectX shader caches. The only files you might not want to delete with inside of it will be your Windows update cleanup. The only reason you might not want to delete this is that if you've recently installed a new operating system or updated your operating system and you're not currently sure if you want to stay on this update and you would like the choice to revert back, do not delete the Windows update files. But if you're happy with your operating system and you don't want to revert back, select those as well. We're also going to navigate down on the left hand side and simply select all options with inside of here. In the bottom right, you can see that I'm about to delete 14.8 gigabytes of absolute rubbish on my PC. Once that's done, go ahead, select OK, then select delete files. At this stage, it's also recommended to navigate down to your file explorer by going to the bottom left hand side, clicking on the folder, navigate over to this PC, then go inside of all of the drives in which are installed to your PC and start deleting files you know you no longer need. This also goes for keeping unnecessary drives installed to your PC. If you have excess USB drives, hard drives and other drives in which you don't access on your system, it might be worthwhile actually disconnecting those drives and just keeping them separate and only using them when you need them. The more drives you have installed to your system, the more load on your USB bus and your SATA controller overall slowing things down. If you have excess games, files, video files, other rubbish on your system which is just simply soaking up resources, I'd recommend at this point just doing your yearly maintenance, taking the time to go through and just cleaning up your operating system and all of your files as a whole. For the main optimization, navigate inside of the description down below where you'll be able to find the Windows 10 Debloat tool. This tool is by Synchnex and all credits go to them for creating this tool. Once you're on the GitHub to download the tool, navigate down to the green code button, go to the drop down menu, then select download zip. Once the zip file has downloaded, open up the zipped file, drag the folder onto your desktop. With the folder on your desktop, double click on this. We then need to navigate down to the Windows 10 Debloater GUI or GUI. Right click on this option, then select Run with PowerShell. You'll then be brought to this UI. Now before we start pressing buttons with inside of here, we first of all need to think about which options we're going to be selecting for our system. Those options in which we need to set are going to be the Debloat options found at the top and we'll be going to those last. For now we can navigate down to Cortana, Edge PDF, Dark Theme and other changes. Start Starting off with Cortana, if you don't want this in the Windows search bar, I personally don't, select disable. Once that's been disabled, you can navigate and use Edge PDF if you wish to do so. I also don't like using this, so I'm going to be selecting Disable. And this is a quick and easy way to enable or disable dark mode with inside of Windows. Depending if you use Windows OneDrive or not will depend on whether or not you wish to uninstall it. I do not use Windows OneDrive, so I'm going to uninstall this. If you do, do not select this option. This can take a few moments to uninstall successfully, so just wait for this to finish. It will then notify you that it has, and we can then continue on. Once that's completed, I'm then also going to be unpinning tiles from my start menu, as I do not like these. I'm then also going to be selecting disable telemetry and tasks. In some cases this can cause issues if you're looking to use printers or old fax machines for some reason. If you do notice that any of those niche options with inside of Windows stop working or you run into any issues in the future, make sure that you do use that restore point that we used earlier. I'm going to be selecting disable telemetry and tasks as this will stop most of the tracking services with inside of Windows 10, in turn stopping them running on your PC. Removing bloatware reg keys is also a more advanced option in which you may wish to experiment around with. Again, this can sometimes cause issues with more advanced options with inside of Windows, so do take your time and clicking this button will definitely be at your own risk. You'll be able to revert the changes no problem using the restore point in which we set up earlier, but I just have to mention that is at your own risk. It's also recommended to install .NET version 3.5 as this can help compatibility with older programs in case you run into crashes. With that out of the way, we can then go up to the bulk options, which is going to be your debloat options at the top. We first of all need to customize the block list to either keep or delete excess bloatware. Inside of this list, this is going to be the list of every single item it's going to be deleting from your system. If you wish to keep any of these items, scroll down, go through this list and start unchecking the items in which you wish to keep. For the most part, most people don't like having any of these installed, but most of you watching, if you do use any of the Xbox app, Xbox Game Bar or Xbox Game Settings apps, I would definitely recommend selecting these to keep them. For this, you want to go ahead and uncheck the option to delete this. So I'm going to be unchecking game services, Xbox devices, gaming app, and I'm also going to be keeping on my PC the HEVC or High Efficiency Video codec. With that out of the way we can then scroll back up to the top and find all of the other apps in which are still installed to our system and start selecting the ones in which you know you no longer want. If you're not entirely confident what a certain app is, leave it alone entirely as you could run into instability in your operating system or outright have features removed if you start selecting things you don't know if you want to keep or not. Once you've selected and set up your allow list and block list, go down to the bottom, select save. We can then go ahead and exit out, then go to remove all bloatware and select this option. This will then begin to run through that block
block list and start deleting all the excess bloatware from your system and keeping the files from which you selected to keep. This can take a little while depending on the speed of your system and how many items you've chosen to delete, where it will then notify you that it has done so. You may also notice that your screen might flicker during this process as it has to restart some of the Windows search processes to remove these items in which you've decided to delete, so don't panic if your taskbar opens or if your screen refreshes a few times or if items start disappearing as it's just simply being restarted by the Windows processes. Once that's been completed, you'll then be notified in the bottom left of the PowerShell that it has now finished all tasks. Once you're done with inside of there, we can exit out of the Windows 10 debloater and we've now successfully debloated our system. To ensure that everything is completely removed and our system is now booted up with our brand new startup settings as well, it is definitely recommended to navigate to the bottom left hand side, right click on our power options and restart the system, boot back with inside of Windows just to make sure that we've now successfully updated everything and we're now on our debloated version of Windows. At this point, going back inside of your taskbar, you should also notice under processes that your CPU usage is drastically reduced. As you can see, I'm currently recording this video using OBS Studio and I'm using just 2% of my CPU now. So for old or new systems, high end or low end, this is going to be offering some phenomenal performance improvements alongside operating system speed up. I'm also going to be having some new videos come to the channel very soon, which can help you further reduce CPU usage with inside of Windows and fully comprehensive Windows 10 and Windows 11 optimization guides to ensure that you're getting the best performance possible out of your system, regardless of how new, old, high or low end it is, or which operating system you're choosing to run. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please do remember to leave a like and a comment to help me out with the YouTube algorithm as it does help me out fantastically. If you're looking for further optimizations, check out the video on screen now.